in that way. <laughs> we are made in that way. And now I messed up everything and I can't open the game again. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm starting. Sorry if, uh, if it takes pretty much time, but I was trying to fix everything before to play. Uh, we're gonna play the world from Among Us, Seba. Before, uh, because I'm waiting for the for the server. I, I never played that game, and well, people say that I have to because it's pretty great. No, 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 episode one. What? Yeah, it should be like um, the Walking Dead. You know, I didn't play that on stream because I was crying. <laughs> Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their sacred community for the Marnow! <laughs> I was so slow. Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31 percent humidity is a lot. Thanks for follow, guys. Say 73 with 31 percent humidity, and it is muggy out there. Wow, it seems really a cool game. I love adventures game. I bought so many adventures, ab adventures guys, on the last Steam sales. You will see. <laughs> I will play so many adventures. No, Wendy, no. Police. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No uh... need to kick up a bus. Wait a sec, because I have a problem with my Windows bar. Wait a sec. Uh, better put it on the left. Yeah. I'm on Big B. Say something. You... Wait. Shut up. Do it. Stop on the scare me. Really? You oh, can't afford it's working to look now. You're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there? Do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place. No, wait, damn. Oh, thanks for that, Big B. You're a real gentleman. Oh. This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. <sighs> Fine, I'm heading up. Get 
your glamour. If you didn't understand why there are so strange creatures, I read it before. That's a strange um, word. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? Also you want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Let's knock. Stop, okay? You're drunk. Let's go. You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! Alright, what's going on? <gasps> oh my god! What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. <laughs> Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. <clears throat> put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. No, wait, where? Them. Had enough? <gasps> A fucking challenge. Yeah, right in the throat. Back off, asshole. Oh, God. Again and again. Go fuck no, I should use the battle now. Yeah, right in the face, right in the face, in the face. More. God. Wait guys, I just noticed that I'm in the heaven. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is wrong really today with the light? Sorry. Yeah, I was in the heaven, sorry. You should probably get out of here. Look, hey, bloody. I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. Shut up. Fucking Put you on the ground. Say that word one more time. What? Bitch? What did I say? You fucker. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> what are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! So, I suppose that he didn't pay the prostitute. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? 
He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the watchman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say? I said be nice or you wait out. Come on. Oh my gosh. Really? Hello, oh, they have. Oh, shit. Yeah, you can say that. <clears throat> hey, Toad. My car. Sorry, yeah. Toad. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But, even but you are mad. Things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid So it. he's a wolf! Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more for me. He'll be I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. How the hell is possible? He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Really? What's the madness of this world? Hello, Divine. Mongos, yeah, me too. Just come on. Watch out, darling. Here. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Come on, darling. <sighs> hey, you like my ribbon? Beautiful. Mm. I'm flirting here, guys. I'm flirting. Thank you. We've met before. Ah, yeah. I say, I, I know that sentence. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess.
stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. Well, darling, I just meet you. You are beautiful and fabulous and so brave, but well, I just meet you. A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh, it's 20, 40, 70, 8, 58. That's all I got. It'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Take the money. Yes. Take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned Good, up. yeah. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. That's gonna leave a mark. Or maybe not. <sighs> we are in a epic moment here, guys. Yeah, I thanks here. Tell you something. What? This Did you love me? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. <laughs> she kissed me! <sighs> I'll see you around, Wolf. I'll see you around, whore. <laughs> She's so freaking beautiful. I love her. <laughs> what we are gonna do here? What the hell is happening here? Hello, addiction. Hi, dear. I should. S I have to say that the start of this game was freaking epic. Because the, the server are down, Divine. Really? I don't know, now I'm just inside this game, so I don't know, really. <laughs> I, I love it. You know, I was playing that game while waiting for Hizzy, but I think it's great. It's one of the games that I bought on the last Steam sales. I bought so many games, so many guys. I will play all of them. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. Yeah, stay off the grass. Greetings from, greetings from Italy. Hello, dear. I'm an elf. You can't ask. A nail page. Don't make me come over there. Look, I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just. <sighs> Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty. Hello, Bigby. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Why she was hiding there? Uh, 
I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. Okay. Mm. She's hiding something. Damn it. I'm late. Yeah, another cheek. But I prefer the whore. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries. Really, too much Beauty and the Beast? It would just make my life a lot easier. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. So that's the Beauty of the Beast, really? Thank you for trusting me. Really, I, I appreciate it, Bigby. I want to see the beast. Let's take a look. Guy's really doing his job. Can you get paid for that? My catcher needs to dust this guy. <laughs> Who are the beasts? What? <laughs> Been a while since I got the mail. What the beast what? Seventh day in a row. Well, let me check it, it again. Be beast three zero one. Okay. Beast is three zero one. What the hell is that? Big B name tag. Damn thing fell off again. Well, better. How much longer is this gonna go on? Oh, that's why she was called me BB because I'm B Wolf. Well, guys, we are close to the 25 followers, so I think that today I'm gonna do the giveaway of the Steam card. So, if you like this game, you can get it. And I really suggest you to take it. It's freaking epic. Well. It's a lot of privates, yeah. <laughs> Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Mm. I don't like to lie. I hate lie. I don't like that. No, it's only in English. This game is only in English. Hello, Hatsir. Seems so, Gnome. Seems so. The Wolf Among Us. <sighs> what a night. Really? <laughs> refrigerator or freezer? Why I should open the freezer? Well, make it, may, make it, yeah, maybe to to make a fast meal. Oh, all the ice. Well, 
you can make it, but yeah, maybe it's too late. You have always do have some highs in the fridge. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Yeah, big fridge and empty. The story of my life. <laughs> Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Chinese food? I remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Oh, oh. So, well, he feeds a wolf in the night, or, well, it seems that he's a wolf even when he's hungry. So, he don't remember, he doesn't, sorry, remember anything when he's a wolf, I think. Because he just said that he's a bad sign about the Chinese food. Maybe he ordered that when he was a, uh, a wolf. But, well, I wonder, <laughs> I want to see a wolf eating Chinese food. What the hell? That's my meal or what? Colin? He have a name? <laughs> oh my god, Colin? Hey Colin, use, yeah, hit him. Oh, hey Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah, get out. Oh, so he ordered the Chinese food, I, I suppose. Well, I see a walking meal. Walking meal on the next season. Got a smoke? I love pork and beans. No, you will contaminate my meat. Ah, damn Thanks. it. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. You are my meal. I'm not that sending you me? anywhere. Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true, what with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no, um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. And it's fine. I mean, look at your hands. What's wrong with my hands? Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <laughs> but, 
<laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. The beauty. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I told her I'd lie for her. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Was no. Boy, that doesn't make Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Yeah, give him a drink. Be good with somebody. Be good with the pig. You will grow and you can eat it. Thanks, Big B. You're welcome, Colin. <laughs> but he was talking about Snow White. I wonder. Coming. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Da -da -da. Yeah. Snow White. Snow. Boy, she's beautiful. Snow. What? Sorry. Da -da -da. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Ron Weasley? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Oh, so she leave here. Yeah, so many grills, yeah. Sarah Snow looks like Serena. <laughs> mm, yeah, except for the highs. No, I don't think so fragmented. <laughs> but, but anyway, thank you. I would like to. Not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl? A working girl? I don't. I mean, I'm a working. Oh. Oh my god. A woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... <sighs> terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of... us? Do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Uh, 
We'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. No, oh, really, I feel so freaking bad. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? What is... It's... A ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. That's a proof of something. She was working for somebody, but she didn't say that to me, so God. I don't know really. What did this to her. What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic. or Lily. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Yeah, um... Um, what... What do you want to do next? I'm dating here, you know. Investigate more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. I'm dating here, guys. Really, I, I don't know. I, I'd like her. Hey, it's not. You all right? Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Yeah, I know the servers are hop cystic, but this game. <laughs> I wanna play it. I wanna play it. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. Many people say to me that this game was great, but I didn't imagine something like that. Yeah, I know flame work. Look at the bushes. Nobody there. I know nobody there, but ah, uh, check it better. trail blood drops of blood I'd say it's been here an hour maybe Well, the beast was wearing jeans. Just some loose trash. Are you sure? I'm surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Blood. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Well, 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 so that blood that I see here, it's not of the girl. It's the murderous blood. What are you?
are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact. Purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well... Yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. See, I tell tale white fox. Lol, Haro. Can you see my shirt? I have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Don't tell him. It'll just complicate things. I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. He's the mayor. Deputy mayor. Position's a joke. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Come on, Snow. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Hello, that dress. Hi, Lucas. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Alex. Yes, me too. I'm. This game is great. What the heck? What are you blind? Why you don't see? There's a line. I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I know. I'm taking cuts. Is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> you see anyone here laughing, Sheriff? Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role in this is duly noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life, and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation. That was the woods man. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir. Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything. Really? This Do guy? Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. I told you not to tell him. I know. I probably should have listened to you. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... <sighs> Never mind. You don't say anything. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. 
Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Oh god. The wine. Are you drunk? Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Yeah. A drunk monkey. A drunk monkey. Oh, that's so cute. today, Mr. Bigby? Cute. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, oh. get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Oh my god, that's he knows freaking happy. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Well, we need to figure out who's that girl. Who was that girl? Because she's dead. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. After the genie's been freed. Yeah, I want a drunk monkey too. Drunken monkey yes, too. Right. Scratch it. Worth a try. Yeah, I was trying. I'm still a dreamer. <laughs> I was waiting for the genie. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that? I have the record right here. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then. Or what he did to get them. Well, that's not what I have here. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. <laughs> well, the wolf. I'll be sure to let him know. Take another. Wow, that car seems really like the girl that was killed before, you know? Damn. That's me! What the fuck is this supposed to mean? That's me! That's me! I'm sure that's me! Magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about oh, this fable. Oh, See, was that Ooh. so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Buffkin? Woodsman? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Ah, uh, Snow? Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Buffkin? Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking! <laughs> oh, damn. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Well, it can't no, help me if I don't know the name, so... Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Oh, Bafkin, you're such a mess. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Mm. 
No, she didn't say the name. Oh, I don't feel bad for the woodsman. They... He's an asshole. Yeah, use the tarot card. You know what this means. Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Da -da -da. Not when you are so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Okay, let's see in the book if we can just find the game of that girl. We need to figure out the name of that girl that was murdered before or, well, the mirror can say anything. Book of symbols. Yeah, let's check the book of symbols before. We got the ring. Ask. No, 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 really. Um, well, should I save? Oh, I can't. No, so never mind. Oh, it's like Walking Dead. There is automatic save. Yeah, back out for a second. I need to check the ring before. Can I check it? Oh, seems that I can't use the, the things, the stuff that I have in my inventory. Never mind. So, what is that? Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We yeah, a drunk monkey is helping me. Bufkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Well, they think, ah, uh, maybe Mr. Toad is involved in that. Oh. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. Lol. Well, we are looking for a moon with three stars. Oh, well, they seem like three stars. What's it say about? It says brickle bit in an older elvish hand. What's brickle bit? My magic word. What's it do? It makes animals shit gold. Is serious? Yeah, it's serious. No, we're not looking for the symbol. Well, but I wonder. What's that? It reads. Mark of the house of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. That's the symbol. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelirao? I'll go look it up. Alelirao. Means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as Ledaz, you know. <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic. Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Oh. What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. So she wasn't a prostitute, she was a princess. Yeah. Her name's Faith, 
She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Name we... Name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. Yeah, Cabby. That's you really... You think he did it? Hello, Perico. With this sort of thing, it's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. Hello, Shadid. So, she was fate. <laughs> Give me the orange juice, yeah. Princess can be prostitute too. <laughs> yeah, maybe, probably. <laughs> yeah. I see. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Oh, that's me? Hmm. Me. Yeah, that's me. Ah, oh, I look great here. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Hi, buddy. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. They are so evil. They seem so evil here. Oh, hello, Halvis. That's the game, the name. The Wolf Among Us. Red. Ciao, Brigola. She didn't make it out. Beauty in happier days. And her man, Beast. Funny. Oh, his brothers. Oh, I see. So it's Colin. Oh, no, I, I understand everything. Okay, so. <laughs> Well, everything. You know, uh, the three pigs. The three pigs and the wolf. They were just building a an house and the wolf always was um, blowing uh, to, to destroy the house. You know the fable, the, the three pigs. And Colin was the smarter one, the smarter one because the other two brothers were get killed by the wolves. I remember that. Oh, Snow Donkey, well known as Fate. No, well, actually Fate, well known as... I haven't seen Badger around for a while. Donkey's He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. Colin avenged the brothers, I know, yeah. Ichabod Crane, scared shitless. What's that? Your boss, his finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Well, now we know. So let's go to talk to the mirror. Mirror, mirror, if you're able, tell me about the fable. I just love that. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Fate. Fate, but she's dead. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. What? Is that a... I don't know, uh, an organization or something like that? Show me Faith's father. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Bye-bye, mm, Faith's father. Oh, that crosses him off the suspect list. Prince Lawrence? He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. 
red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Okay, so let's go. Anything we can use to meet yeah. this Lawrence. I'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Ciao, Doug. Yeah, Crawford, this game is we amazing. Get that. Hello, dear. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Toad, got your glamour yet? Yeah, 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 it's fine. Big B, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. What the hell is happening? Oh, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know, I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. No, I want to go to Toad. No, I want to go to... Uh, I want to go to Toad. Ciao, Mickey. Ciao, Zizu. Uh, the Wolf Among Us. Did Toad see who was there? Was it the Woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Toad. Toad, please. I want to go to Toad. Big, big. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad, Toad. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Da -da -da. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Where the hell is Toad? Man, a... That's enough, all right. Just shut it. <laughs> Let's investigate mm, before to go. Half of this shit. Da -da -da. Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? But it was me, you don't remember? Woodsman never did much reading anyway. He didn't remember oh, that. Si, sí, Maria. <laughs> no, bloody, I don't want. White. 
Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. What's wrong here? Sorry, Bigby. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. It wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? What is say? What is so? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate. But fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. He's uh, hiding have somebody. Seat. Have a cup of tea, whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? No. Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Oh, she's so cute. I mean, Snow. She's lovely. Now I know why wolves love her. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Mm. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Yeah, well, sure. the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Hello, Weeks, please. It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. The guy that was here before is still here. No, 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 he's not. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. Well, I... There's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb Don't. in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Stop to lie. happened before or after you came in the window after after oh, i was i was poking the coals and it slipped a bit sliced up in my foot like a seashell but like a shit ugly thing if you're gonna say something out with it wait you dropped it on your foot you told me before that you cut your hand yeah no i, I did cut my hand i cut my hand first and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot 
<laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Really? Toad, stop with that. <sighs> Why continue to lie when it's obvious that you're lying? You did not make a big faff out of this. There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it, but I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Toad. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. I saw something. That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Yeah. Uh, maybe the lamp? One of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? The lamp. Hello, Halboros. Bloody hell, Big B. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left a tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing. And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. <sighs> Why is keeping on lying? Who the hell are you cover? Who the hell is covering? And why is the lock busted? Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. A spot of dust and a broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. <sighs> Why'd you climb in through the window, then? Ha. Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Ciao, Manu. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. It's the third Quickly. time that Come I... Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in me own bloody home. Start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. I'm just behaving, guys. Tell I'm me behaving. what's going on. She doesn't think much of me. I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? So no, come into the room again. <gasps> Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. Oh, the ring. He they are looking the for the ring. Beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. 
What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you scared me! Thank you so much for saving me. Thank you, dear. I appreciate. Thank you, Skibo. And welcome to the crew. Thank you. I'm having your name here. Oh, and you deserve an epic pizza. Ta -da! Welcome. Welcome to the pizza club. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Yeah, call him Simba now. <laughs> you know, that was pretty appropriate. I mean, playing a fable game and with the Simba story, the circle of life, great. The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. <sighs> we, we have to protect the little boy. I don't wanna... Oh. Oh my god! No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. That's the donkey skiing. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? I don't, don't know. Don't make it a dilemma. I don't know. I want, I want to open it. I Just didn't... open it. Yeah, open it. We are looking for evidence, so... I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Hello, <laughs> oh, Patrick. Yeah, report me. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. But I already changed the title, guys. I already changed the title before. It's written The Wolf Among Us. It's written in the title, guys. Really, what are you talking about? I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fable Town business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Oh, I can be very, very persuading. Well, let's go. Oh, 
voice acting is great. I know, Haro, I know. But it's written on the title, so come on. <laughs> Lol. Happy birthday, Sura! It's your birthday? Oh, oh. It's a suicide? Sorry. Well, happy birthday, Suramas, anyway. Sorry, I was distracted. Oh my god. No, he's still alive. Hey, hey, stay with me, Lawrence. Gonna no. be alright. No. Let me go. What is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Bigby, water, kitchen. Come on, take it. Did this to you. <coughs> Faith. Really? <sighs> Faith? Still have that letter. Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. Tell, tell him about the letter. Da -da -da. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? I didn't think it was fate, you know. <laughs> what is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Da -da -da. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Take the bullet. Matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. That doesn't really help. Yeah, the angle works. 
works if he shot himself. So, it's a suicide? But there's blood everywhere. Strange. Hard edge to this pool. Something was here and got moved. Oh, great. Oh, guys, wait a sec. Um, I'm... Uh,